down with Scrap the Details, and I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a YouTube video. Um, I did have to take a step back to kind of focus on some things, and just without going into much detail, I would appreciate your positive thoughts and prayers for my kids and myself. And even though I may, be, may have not been posting, I am still creating because for me, creating is definitely uh, my happy place and I love making sure that it is a priority um, every single day. So today I'm gonna share with you my newest workshop that I will be having in July. And it is a Christmas planner and I absolutely love the cover of this book. Now, I will let you know that this here, this die is by Sizzix. It's from Tim Holtz. It's his uh, snow globe die. And my friend Wendy actually used this exact die on one of her planner that she designed a while back. Her name is Wendy Kusky. So she's the one that gave me the inspiration and idea to create this. So of course, you know, with her permission, I am using her idea of putting that snow globe onto a mini book. And thank you, Wendy, for that. And I'm using a different book than she did, different paper, and I use different dies throughout the entire book. So what it is, is just going to help you organize your holiday. So I thought Christmas in July, this is a perfect idea and it'll be a fun book to create. I love the holiday, so this is definitely my favorite time. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you some of the details of this Christmas planner. On the front of this book, this book measures six by nine, so I, as you can see, I use the snow globe from Tim Holtz, and I love these little mini houses. They are just adorable, so there's different layers to them, so you can decide on your color palette. And then the mountains are also part of the die collection. This one here I had to just draw by hand, which obviously is very simple to do because I needed this mountain to be a little bit taller. These little mini Christmas trees are also part of that die collection as well as the snowflakes, I believe. No, the snowflakes are not part of that die collection. They are just something I had in my uh, sequin, so I just used those to kind of embellish the front of the snow globe. And th even though this snow globe die does come with clouds, I chose to use a different one that I had in my stash. And then, of course, I'm, I can never not create without using this rosette die from Sizzix. I love it. I just kind of put it in the corner here with this snowflake that I just cut from white glitter cardstock. I know there were a couple of you that want to know who this snowflake belongs to or the designer. So I need to look into that. So I will do that. And then here, this is from Tim Holtz. And then this here is just part of my alphabet dies that I just had on hand. And I just use that for the front. Now, this book will um, have a ribbon here that I will um, use to kind of tie in the inside. I just can't decide, I just can't find the right color because obviously here I chose a non-traditional color palette for my Christmas planner. So once I find the right color, I will insert it here. Now, inside the book here, um, I also need to finish this piece here. I originally at first was going to stamp something onto the inside of the cover, but I think I'm just going to include, kind of make like a pocket for the front. And then that way, you know, you can have a place to tuck in, you know, photos, lists need to be worked on this week. So I will definitely do that. And here's the cover. This will begin the Christmas planner. And again, I chose, it's just a fun, bright, happy color palette for the Christmas planner to kind of just give you a head start because you know it's going to be a busy time of year and this year I want to be productive and be ahead of the game so hopefully having something like this will help me with that process so this here believe in the season is just a three by four um, card that is part of the collection I love Dolly so I used one for the top and then these little chipboard candies are from the same collection. And then, of course, a glitter star with just some different layers here that you can see. And the only thing that bothers me on this page is the 2017. I think the numbers, it's just too 
thin for this design and for the cover. It just needs to be, I need to find some, you know, wider numbers or a little bit chunkier numbers. And I think I did find that. So quick, quick little insert, quick little change. So I'm going to take care of that before the workshop. So that's that. And then here, I'll go ahead and share with you this here. Now this mini album does have different um, page protectors with different designs. Two are, you know, four by six. Um, some are also just, you know, full six by nine that are just one page protector. And this here has the four different pockets. So I played with the word joy and kind of embellished it here. Now on the J, you'll see some vellum behind it. I also stamped here and then of course used a bow for the outside and then the O here and I just kind of filled it in with some sequins and I used my fuse tool and then I used it here as well and inserted some snow and then I just love this little Rudolph he is just so adorable so I added some little sprinkle to his nose now for those taking the workshop I think I'm going to probably have you put a little bit of adhesive behind the O so that it doesn't tilt I mean it doesn't bother me but if you want it to be you know straight up and down that's probably you know a really good tip that we'll um, you know discuss in the workshop and let's see I'll go ahead and just share this with you here just a transparency that I fell in love with because it reminded me of snow so I included that with one of my favorite dies of the holiday on the front and then here I created a little envelope as you can see here and I did some stamping just because with the holidays, there's always receipts or lists and just another place to tuck something else in. And let's see, let's go ahead and share this with you here. Here, I just cut those three by four, um, I guess, cards from the 12 by 12 sheet and just um, attach them on top of a tag stamped at the bottom. And then I will um, include some ribbon that will tie on the ends and here I just took a sheet of paper I scored it and I stitched it just to create two individual pockets So I thought that was a fun little element now in this mini book There are places to record your Christmas card list your ornament list your um, Present uh, list, you know those that you need to buy presents for also a place to write down what your Christmas menu is going to look like. So there's a spot for all of that, as well as, if I haven't said it already, a place to track down any ornaments that you want to buy this year, or maybe track your inventory of ornaments for the holiday season. So there's also a place for maybe favorite recipes. So I think this is probably one of my favorite pages. It's very simple, but I love it. I love this little elf. He's part of a three by four card, and I just cut him out and I just added him to an envelope and this was just perfect. It just matched my choice of paper perfectly. So just a few different layers that he sits on top. And then this Holly Jolly is part of the um, chipboard collection that we're gonna be using throughout the book. And in fact, there are so many elements that I haven't even used all of them. So you'll be able to use them as you use your planner. So that'll be you know fun for you to do. And then this candy cane is from Sizzix. I love it, it's just big. Now here, this kind of brings us to the page um, that you have a place to jot down your traditions that you want to remember to do for the holiday season with your family or with your kids. So I thought that he was really cute to kind of start that off. Place for uh, let's see recipes so your favorite cookie recipes if you're part of a cookie exchange or again you're gonna have a place to write down your menu so those recipes that you use every single holiday there's two spots for you to include that and of course you could always add more to that okay hopefully this kind of gave you an idea of the Christmas planner I love this time of year I know I've said that in previous videos but I truly do it is just happy and I love the papers that come out all the different embellishments I just love the design process and just all the different things that I can do and create. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. This has inspired you. And again, my, I believe my workshop is scheduled for the end of the month. I, I want to say July 29th. It's on a Saturday and it's at Pages of Time. And it is, I begin, I believe we're starting at 10 a.m. And this workshop is $45. So again, I've not finished with some few details and there's also some different elements inside this mini uh, or this Christmas planner. So hopefully you enjoyed 
taking a peek inside and as soon as my workshop is over I'll be glad to share the rest of this planner with you either on a YouTube video or via Instagram so I hope that all of you are well and I will work on another video for you and thank you so much for watching and I hope that you found some time to be creative